Hi, I am Peggy Van de Plage, uh, and today I want to share some thoughts with you on the future of wealth management. Um, I've been speaking on the future of wealth management at board retreats, client events, conferences, so I'm really happy to share some of my insights with you today on uh, this fascinating topic. So um, let's start by setting the stage on where uh, the industry stands today. Um, so the traditional model is uh, under transition. Uh, regulations are increasing, technology is ever present, client expectations are on the rise, um, we see more competitions for multiple players, um, and these changes are accelerating and intensifying. So uh, that's obviously creating a lot, a lot of pressure on the, on the industry. In addition, you can uh, see demographic trends uh, that are further impacting the wealth management industry. Uh, the population in most developed countries is aging, the working age population is decreasing, uh, and the wealth transfers are accelerating. So all these factors really create pressure on the current uh, business model. Uh, in terms of new clientele, um, you're really seeing uh, some groups that are getting more and more important for the industry, uh, and that might have been overlooked in the past. So these groups are women, uh, millennials slash uh, Gen Z, uh, but also immigrants. And these clients have different expectations and preferences when it comes to wealth management, whether for the products and services they want or for the way, the way they want to be served. So millennial Gen Z, as an example, they don't want to pay fees. Uh, and after a 10 year bull market, they think they can invest themselves and don't need any help. So uh, the understanding as well that they have on, of wealth management uh, is that it's just investing. They don't understand necessarily all uh, the ancillary benefits, obviously, of, of wealth management. Um, in terms of new competitors, uh, you can see a, even more pressure being created in the industry by the big tech, the fintech, the Asian players that are serving their local diaspora as well. And as we watch these players maturing, consolidating, expanding their footprint, uh, they really are rewriting the financial services playbook uh, and especially the wealth management playbook. So, so the correlation as well between social media and wealth management, um, for better or worse, has proved to support these new competitors in the industry. And uh, finally, building on these new client expectations and new competitors approach, we see a rise of new business model, such as advice-based ecosystem, hybrid model, responsible investing, and you can see the cornerstone of this new business model, um, such as digital experience, low fees, transparency, socially minded, uh, are being answers to really this, this new client's need. So, so in that context, uh, there are some recommendations I'd like to, uh, to, to leave you with. And the first one is really think strategically about what your organization will need to be in 2030. What is your future value proposition for these new clients? And I would say more importantly, who are the new clients you want to focus on? Uh, you cannot be everything to everyone, and it's very important to know who you're going to be focusing on. Uh, the second thing is, I would say something that everyone has been or should be looking at, and it's really digitizing your back, middle, front office and building this digital ecosystem. Uh, and the third thing is about the culture. Um, recruit uh, advisor will better represent the population diversity. Uh, and also what tech savvy, that's getting uh, also extremely important. And one little piece that I want to, to leave you with, uh, which is uh, last but not least, um, start exploring the field of money psychology. Uh, to better support your clients so they can make the best financial decision for themselves. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, it was a short and sweet overview of a presentation I give uh, to board C-suite investment advisor and their clients. Um, please reach out if you want to book me for one of your industry events. Uh, the contact information of my agent and my contact information are in the comment sections. Have a wonderful day and thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.